host Haley Clawson. Today, Friday the 13th. The last time we had a Friday the 13th was this year, back in March. So, today, we had highs in the upper 70s. Feeling good out there. When we're talking weather, no bad luck here. We're feeling exactly like we should, and as we continue through this evening, clear skies are going to be with us. Humidity creeping up just a bit, but we're still keeping everything nice and dry. A bit of a breeze depending on where you are in the Coachella Valley. The closer you are to uh, Palm Springs, closer to the interstate, that's where you're going to be experiencing some breezier conditions, but no, not anything too gusty. So yes, it may be Friday the 13th, but no, we do not have a full moon to go with it. In fact, right, what we are experiencing right now is a waning crescent. The moon, less than 10% illuminated. We're still 17 days away from our next full moon. If you recall, the last one was on Halloween, uh, but now we're just dealing with a bit of a sliver out there. So there is a system that is working its way inland as we speak, and it's bringing rain and snow to Northern California and bringing us a bit of a breeze. Not so much down here on the valley floor as it is through the mountain passes. That's who's really experiencing some of the stronger wind gusts. So when you look at our satellite and radar right now, there's the rain, there's the snow, clear skies across Southern California, and that's how it's going to be continuing as we head through tonight and into our Friday. Right now in Pinion Pines, a gust of 26 miles per hour. Right now in Desert Hot Springs, 14 miles per hour. So far, the strongest gust that has come through the San Gorgonio Pass, Whitewater near the interstate has been in the 30s. In the preserve, we're talking uh, peak gusts in the 40s. But again, down here on the valley floor, not quite as breezy. We'll continue to monitor this through the night because we are looking to have those gusts get closer to 20 miles per hour, but really the strongest gusts stay through the pass and up on the mountains in the higher elevation. So as we head through tomorrow morning, those winds continuing to weaken. On your Comfort Air 7-day forecast, you also see warming temperatures. So today's high 79. We go into the 80s this weekend, continuing to warm into the upper 80s through the middle of next week before a bit more relief joins us by the end of next week. So John, Karen, We've got some great weather. It's going to be above <laughs> normal. We're talking 10 degrees above normal next week, uh, but it's really not anything too excessive. Yeah, everyone's yeah. talking about the, you know, traveling for Thanksgiving and stuff. You know, just stay here. This is the place to be. Especially with this. We've been waiting it's, so long for these temperatures. It's a good place. If we have to hold in position somewhere, this is the place to be. Thank you, Haley.